Hey everyone, I'm back and it's finally time. My first Godot Engine game, Mystic Meadow, is now available on itch.io for free. And the download link is in the description and you can play it right now. In this video, I'll go over some of the final updates, talk a little bit about future plans, and do a full playthrough of the game. It's been a few months since my last video, and honestly I could have put out a couple of videos sooner, but I decided to just power through and finally get to releasing this thing. As I mentioned, it's free for download on itch.io, and I was always planning on giving it away because it's super short, and really this whole first project was just to help me learn game development anyway. Even though I've had this channel for a couple of years now, I'd estimate the actual amount of working hours I've spent putting it together um, to only span like a couple of months really. Okay, so the game is fully playable, but I'm calling this an alpha release uh, in case you run into any bugs, and you might. In the last couple of weeks, uh, I've been trying to find and fix as many bugs as I could, but uh, just in case you run into anything, hopefully they're not game-breaking bugs. Um, in any case, uh, please leave a comment on this video if you find anything, or over on the game's itch.io page, and uh, I'll do my best to fix whatever it is you guys find. The major updates since the last video include the uh, title screen, adding sounds and music, and an end game scene that I added just to sort of conclude the game. So uh, let's take a look at the title screen and the menu first. I redesigned the menu screen and I really like it a lot more now. The older one felt a bit unfinished and like it was lacking something. So I added the animated clouds in the background, made a static image for the background stars using GIMP, and made the particle effect take up more of the screen. Next up on the menu, I simplified the About screen. It basically just tells people about my YouTube page, uh, in case anyone who sees this on itch.io didn't already come from YouTube. Uh, and I also added a credit screen, and since I tried to do everything myself for this first game, it's really just me, and uh, then the Godot Engine license stuff that needs to be included somewhere. As for sounds and music, I went around my house trying to find good sources for the sound effects that I would need, and then edited those sounds in Audacity. For the music, I watched a couple of videos on the basics of LMMS and ended up making a really basic sort of chord progression that plays on the title screen and on the endgame scene. Okay, slight spoiler alert, the endgame scene is pretty anticlimactic, I think. Um, I'm really just literally telling people there's no more game. <laughs> uh, I'm really not too concerned because since this is my first game, everything I've learned over the course of putting this together is going to be employed for real in my first commercial project, uh, which I've actually already started working on. Alright, so those are my major updates since the last time. The download link is in the description, and if you find any bugs, let me know in the comments of this video or over on the itch.io page itself. Here's a full playthrough of the game and I'll be back afterwards for the end of the video.
So there we go, my first Godot engine game is done. Uh, not including any necessary bug fixes though. Um, anyway, it still feels really good to have released something like this, even though it's uh, super small. And um, I'm really glad I went with Godot for my first game. I really like the engine, it feels like intuitively structured, and I like the scripting language, it's uh, relatively simple. And since I'm a big free software user, the fact that an engine like this is free to use and release games with is pretty amazing. So where to go from here? Well, I've uh, actually already started working on my first big project, and it's one that I want to do the whole indie game dev thing for, like setting up a website, showing off on social media, uh, and eventually doing a Kickstarter and then releasing it on Steam or whatever other platforms I can manage. And uh, since you've stuck around to the end of this video, here's a quick preview of some of the early experiments for that first real project. I'll be talking about it a lot more once it's in a playable state, and uh, this game will be the one that kicks off the next phase of my channel. So until then, thanks everyone, and I hope to see you all in the next one.